Today we are unboxing Hololive's Rapping Reaper Calliope Mori in Figma form. Welcome back to the channel guys. One thing before we begin is that it is storming at the time that I am recording today's video so I apologize for any background noise you hear. Alright let's get into it. Okay here is Calliope Mori out of the box. Let's look at everything that she comes with. She comes with of course her trusty scythe which is awesome because it can actually be folded and unfolded. Like literally they could have just put it like this, right? And I would have been satisfied. But it's awesome that it can indeed fold like this. And it comes apart pretty easy if you're not careful. But it also snaps back in just as easily. Put that to the side. Next up is her veil. We'll put that on her later. She includes three face pieces, or I guess it's two actual face pieces, and this is like a, <laughs> a ba uh, front hair and sunglasses change. We'll put these on her as a well today. Hope you can see all these. There you go. She also, of course, includes a cute little death sensei. On the other side, you'll see he's got his little scythe as well. Super cute. She includes multiple hand pieces. This thing holds all the hand pieces together. And just like all Figma, she includes a stand for herself as well for Death Sensei. And a bag to put it all in. And naturally, of course, she comes with the figure herself, the Figma. So she can move her arms around, obviously. She has articulation in her elbow area. There isn't really an articulation in her hands, but you can like rotate them. Her upper body, where her boobs are, they are, that's where you can move her around and stuff. Then her cape can be moved around like this, all over the place. Pretty good movement there. Here it can move too, see? Look at that. He comes in sections too. Her foot can move up and down, left, right, and of course she has articulation in her knees, but it is a little bit difficult because of her outfit. Her outfit is can be moved around as well, as you can see, can be moved in parts. Right there, you see, C cuts off right here. See, pretty cool. Her head moves. Not actually, her head doesn't move too much. It can move around, but it's a little stiff. There you go. Up and down is pretty easy. Okay, let's get into the fun stuff. Let's get her posing and stuff, and get onto the showcase. And here is Calliope Mori in all of her glory. Try to get her into a nice action pose. I even added the veil to her, so she has the veil attached to her head right now. Alrighty, it is faceplate showcase time. Here's her starting faceplate. Not sure what expression this faceplate is. Maybe like a... Almost like getting ready to give a sigh or like... <laughs> mouth open faceplate. That's what this one is. Or like a... Ah, type of faceplate. <laughs> and here she is with her sunglasses on. This is actually a hairpiece that has the sunglasses attached to it. And then the face part is actually just the... <laughs> the... The mouth open faceplate. I of course had to include Destiny. He actually attaches to the actual base itself which you can see where is it? Right there. You see the bottom here? It attaches itself to the base. It's pretty flexible where it can be put. But yeah. This one actually doesn't have the veil on because the hairpiece actually includes the tiara. Alright let's move on to the rotating showcase.
Okay, this figure is a lot of fun. I think even if you're not really a fan of Hollow Live or um, Kelly B. Mori, I think you might still have a lot of fun with this figure. The scythe is really cool, and she comes with a microphone. So you could probably make use of the parts anyway. Her outfit is badass. Anyway, that is it, it for the video today. Let me know what you think, and subscribe if you are new. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.